What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the podcast. Hope you're all doing well. I am your host, Justin Harold, and with me, as always, my co-host, Adam Issa. This is the Good Games Podcast, and today we are updating you on the E3 showing of Xbox and Bethesda and Square Enix. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot to take in, a lot of good stuff, and then a lot of not so good stuff. So um, a lot. Now continue. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe not the the games themselves, but maybe the presentations mm -hmm. of them. Uh, so Adam obviously uh, was a long day in terms of those events. So yeah, yeah what are your initial thoughts? Well, uh, let's. I mean, it was a good day. Like I think E three is I think E three is chugging full speed along, and and it's it's out there hanging out, you know, having a good time. But uh, you know, I think we should, yeah. It was good. What about you? Like E3 as a whole right now, what are you feeling like? Uh, you know, like if I was to put a number on it, I'd say like six um, because I don't, I didn't, I wasn't a fan of the square and I wasn't a fan of uh, yesterday's whole event as we went over in our last podcast. But I think Xbox just f fucking like knocked it out of the park mm -hmm. and did exactly what these showcases should do where they're just showing games and not much else. Like, you know, we got a lot of great games that are, you know, obviously going to be on Game Pass. And so we'll talk about those more later. But I think that in terms of how the showcases work, I think Xbox is the best so far. Obviously, we still have Nintendo um, yeah. on Tuesday, but, you know. We have Capcom and 2K tomorrow as well. Yeah, so I, I like I, – it's it's been good. I think we've yeah. gotten a lot of quality stuff and everything. I just think the presentation of it all has been – over you know all over the place so it See, is what it is i think e3 is good i just think i think honestly as a whole this is what i want i just i think the devs are like the publishers are it's i don't think it's e3's fault i think mm -hmm. they're organizing a good event is my point and like they have these nice little and everybody's doing what they're supposed to if that makes sense like it's yeah. it's just i think companies are dropping the ball if that makes sense but uh, yeah yeah absolutely and that's of uh, uh truly fair remark so with that being said uh i'm thinking we're going with you know what we uh think was probably the not the best of the two but obviously something that I mean, definitely showed, lesser yeah <laughs> yeah which showed uh had a couple of good surprises and a couple of uh presentations that obviously we're going to get into so starting off with square enix the very first thing they show um was the rumored guardians of the galaxy game um they spent like 15 minutes yeah they did a full gameplay demo. They did a trailer, a Vidoc, and a gameplay demo. Yeah, and so we got to see... Well, um, because it's coming out in October, uh, which is the big thing. Uh, October. I, 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 I think it's coming out. It's coming out. I, it did I not look... I saw your tweet. It did not look as rough as you were making it sound. It really didn't. It looked very... I mean, maybe it was the stream I was watching it on, but... I, it, it looked, looked very it looked, rough. It looked good. I don't. I really don't. I. I don't know what you're. I think it looked good. The if the gameplay is like reminiscent of Final Fantasy VII, legitimately. Um, I. It looked done. Like you know, I, I went back and I watched the trailer, uh, the fourteen forty p trailer. Mm -hmm. It looks. It looks put together. Uh, I. I actually do think we'll see it in October. I don't think they would put a date on it like that if if it wasn't. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy that this is the first time that we're seeing it. And, you know, you, you think it looked good. I think it looked choppy. Um, I mean, the story stuff is probably all there. I feel like that's definitely um, probably all done and everything. My, my beef was with how the combat looked and how it was, like, kind of going on throughout the, the trailers. But it is what it is. What did you think of, like, the RPG aspect of it? Yeah, I mean, again, like, I literally think... It looks like FF7R as a Guardians of the Galaxy game. Like, legitimately, like, you're commanding your battle buddies. Obviously, you're not playing as – and obviously, it's not nearly as expansive, but you're not you're not playing as all the characters and stuff, but – Yeah. You know, or or Dragon Age. It looks like it looks like one of those types of games where it's real-time combat mixed with some sort of tactical team uh, strategy. And, um, you know, I, I thought it looked I – look, I thought it looked – I thought it looked fun. It looked put together. I mean, then again, this game's been in development for almost as long as Avengers, from what I understand. So, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, I think I think I'm surprised that this is the first time they're showing it and that that it's releasing this early. I, I will right. not lie, but uh, yeah, I think it. I think I think it's gonna be a nice little fun little jolt in October. You know, I think it'll it'll. I think it's gonna sell gangbusters. But 
What did you think of the character designs? I was going to about to say, I really liked all of them. Like, yeah. I think I, I love Drax's. I love Star Lords. I love the helmet, like the sort of like smooth glass yeah. helmet. The only one I'm a little eh on is Groot's. Like, I don't like why he's wearing like a net and stuff like that. But everybody else, like Gamora, looks like comic book Gamora. Um, Rocket, I like the little beard, ponytail, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, again, I'm I'm into this game. Like, I'm not the most excited I've, I could be, but like, you know, right. I think it looks fun. I think I think what a little surprise to open the show. Correct me if I'm wrong, and like obviously this is just my opinion. With that whole thing with the um, mm-hmm. with his beard and how Star Lord looked, I was like, is this like a weird like Assassin's Creed Valhalla <laughs> kind of thing? Like, I don't. They know, do like, look a little Norris, a little Vikingy. I was super like, man, this, I feel like I'm watching like a Vikings, like, I don't know. It was just kind of the whole time I was like, all right, this is a unique design and I like it. It was just like, man, I feel like this is like Assassin's Creed stuff from Valhalla and all that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I, I like the character designs, honestly. Um, it looks very interesting. I obviously am a huge RPG guy, so I'm interested to see how they make cons- um, consequences work and choices work in this game. Cause obviously they were saying small ones are, are going to be in there and obviously big ones are going to be in there. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, like every RPG of course, but um, it'll be interesting how they play it out with a, a Marvel game like this. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. I, you know, if it holds up to October and maybe had to, maybe it's like the um, Elden Ring trailer where I watched yeah. it and it looked grainy at the time, but I'll go back and watch it again and maybe I'll be wrong. But if it comes out October 26th, great. Um, I believe we're also getting, um, which we saw again today, Battlefield 2042 um, is coming out in October. So uh, uh, Battlefield, Far Cry and October is uh, kind of loaded yeah guardians yeah i mean it's i think well here's the thing everybody doesn't nobody wants to go in november because call of duty is going to go in november Mm -hmm. and uh halo are good they're they're probably going to be in that area so it's like you know october's become the new thing right because remember when red dead came out and call of duty moved to october like you know it's like the biggest game of the year um the biggest game of the year drops drops in october and everything else gets the hell out of the way so or in november and everything else gets the hell out of the way so we'll see i i'm again yeah like i i think it, I, I think i was shocked at how good it looked um especially with how screenix handled avengers which i think is a fine game but uh you know this is very much what i think a lot of people wanted avengers to be and i think idos montreal is a very very talented team and i think uh they're gonna deliver so i mean we'll wait and see but uh yeah so th- that was the best part of their show for yeah, me easily absolutely. um even if it sort of ran a little long yeah on the demo but i i'm happy i saw more of it than less yeah absolutely and you know uh we're not gonna go in order right now because obviously we've mentioned it a few times here uh marvel's adventures getting mentioned again here obviously it's still got its dlcs coming out and the big one being the uh, war for wakanda yeah. bringing in black panther uh not sure how much you want to because I, I really I, the design looks cool. Yeah, the like, design I, looks cool. I, I, I will go back into Avengers when that comes out. Like, I'm not mm. interested in getting, like, these little piecemeal content updates yeah. every however long. And then I'll go back in when – it when, and uh, realistically, when Black Panther comes out, I'll have enough content that it's basically like playing the game again, if that makes sense. Like, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, uh, Black Panther, and all the other up, little updates. Of this. So, so, I mean, again, I like that game. I like the action of actually playing it. It's just there wasn't enough content. So – We'll see. Um, what do you think of the design? Like the actual like design of um, Black Panther? Panther, yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Um, it was kind of weird. His eyes. Yeah. Um, they look looked, like Panther eyes. <laughs> yeah, which was interesting. Um, but it all looked good. Obviously, they did Wakanda. Um, it looks very cool as well. Um, a lot of like single player, not single player, but um, a lot of those cutscenes where it's just him and you know, yeah, going up it, against well, Claw it looks him. sort of single playery, like almost like the campaign, you know, yeah. it looks closer to that than what we've seen from the other stuff, right? So that's interesting, and obviously, like you said, uh, might jump back into it when it comes out, maybe, yeah, we'll see. But um, getting back on track here, uh, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, that's the let's not talk about that, I'm gonna get angry. <laughs> No, they, they, they should have put more work into that. It's really stupid. And and the fact that it's only coming to like phones and. Yeah. It's yeah. one through six, but we'll. Uh, it's we'll, just crazy. Like what they're doing with 
Dragon Quest and like you see what they're doing with Dragon Quest 3 and you see what they're doing with this and it's like okay you don't care um yeah. which you know is a shame because it's that and Dragon Quest are what puts Square on the map so yeah um after that we had a couple of uh, mobile games announced I mm, not really seen a whole lot they're, they're, they're literally all of them have been talked about before it's yeah. stupid i i'm don't again it's stupid that they're putting these things right in the middle of their conference like you're, mm-hmm. you're slowing down your own momentum so right and then uh babylon's fall what did you think of this one i really didn't know what was going on to be honest with you and that's kind there, of like how I thought about this whole You need showcase. to go back and watch the trailer that came out before this because something happened to this game. Okay. Something happened to this game. Something bad. I do not know what happened to this game, but the promise is gone. Like, it looks fine now, but mm-hmm. it, it, it looked really good. It, not even fine. It looks mediocre now. It looked really good. It used to look really good in that trailer. Like, it looked exquisite like the next great big platinum games game and now I, i'm disappointed as all hell um but yeah i honestly did not understand i didn't understand what was really happening and i didn't really like how it looked either so but the biggest was, thing is the look changed yeah it was a very I don't know, artistic swing i believe um yeah moving on from that one unfortunately this is how i thought of the entire showcase for um square but we get to a part where i liked it probably a little bit more than adam which is the life is strange stuff obviously they remastered the collection um you know i'm interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> i'm interested in it obviously i played all of them um so i'm really interested in getting the remaster and the new one which is life is strange true colors they explained a little bit more about um the main characters yeah the main character's power and how it kind of affects what goes on so um it's interesting obviously life is strange is kind of like a like a hit or miss for a lot of people either you really like it or you just don't like it and so um i'm one of those people who really likes it and i will definitely give it um i also think it's not episodic this time so it's it's yeah that's what i was gonna say it's a full like 60 dollar game which is gonna be interesting so um it'll be interesting how that one pans out uh, I'm interested and obviously excited for it. Um, do you want to say anything about it by any chance? A supernova, a super, an emotion supernova. I thought that was funny. Uh, no, I mean it's not for me. <laughs> That's yeah. all. Like you know, it's just it's just not for me. So I I, uh, I resign myself to that fact and uh, say nothing else. <laughs> right. Well, then we'll move on to something that's probably a little bit more um, into your alley, which is the game that you were talking about stranger of paradise final fantasy origin um oh boy dude there is a lot of of time machine there was a lot of excitement for this to be shown beforehand well they went they have there they built a time machine they went back to 2013 and then they made this game and then they brought it like it literally looks like an early like launch xbox one game i don't know what's going on it's nomura like it's the guy it's 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 no more. I don't understand why there's not more money behind this. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to play it later today. There's a demo later today. Uh, there's a demo. I mean, it's not that like the gameplay and stuff, it just visually looks rough. Like yeah. it, it looks fun. Like ish. Like it, it looks like a dark soul. It looks exactly like it was decided a more like grounded dark souls, act ARPG. Um, but how many times did they say chaos in that? trailer to be fair yeah I, i'm not gonna lie i kind of that was kind of endearing to me because it was like wow there it, it is final fantasy one like they're like i'm here to kill chaos chaos i'll kill you and it's like and then vegeta's like i am chaos um but uh yeah wait christopher schmill right what's his name i have no idea oh um the guy yeah. who voices yeah uh, he's vegeta he's chaos in this um fuck me um that guy yeah we'll uh, figure out later because it's christopher something yeah um, but um all Might, vegeta piccolo yeah. all those voices of course um yeah i mean i'm like you said it looks like a game that's still in like a pre-alpha and it's coming out in 2022 
December 2022. <laughs> if that at all. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I made the remark like literally right after. I'm like, are you sure about 2022? But <laughs> again, I mean, it's crazy because Neo looks good. Like the Team Ninja games usually look pretty vi- like visually good. So, and I think ultimately, I'm not I'm not too worried about it because ultimately I think if Square gets a lot of backlash, this is Final Fantasy. Like they're not gonna, and this is fi- a Final Fantasy that I think they want to potentially, you know. Like a like a like a spinoff that they'd like to keep going because they set a bold new direction for Final Fantasy. Um, so we'll see, but uh, yeah, initial reception. Then again, the Halo initial reception was rough, and you look a year later that they they really like, and we'll talk about that later. Like, but uh, yeah, um, tough, <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough. And I think that's how you could describe the entire Square Enix uh, showcase. Well, I'll say this. I would, but like it was fast and like you got yeah, gameplay and the thing was like a lot of the games just weren't for me. So I'm not like too hard on it. Like I liked guardians of the galaxy, even though I think final fantasy origins look rough. I'm excited to play it later today. And uh, I know like life is straight and that's it. You know, it yeah. was, that was it. And like, okay, good. Perfect. Done. So I actually think the event as a whole was like fine. Uh, mm-hmm. And Babylon's fault, but fuck that, you know? And, but uh, again, so it's like, it's like, okay, it's whatever. Like, I don't think it's as bad as like Ubisoft was, Like Ubisoft actively annoyed me over 90 minutes. And this was just kind of like, okay, well, yeah. I'm not digging it. Oh, and it's over. So, you know, yeah. that kind of deal. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, what it about had you? A tough... you thought it was tough? I thought it was tough. I mean, I guess I got to go back and watch the Avengers thing. If you're saying that you think it looks really good. Um, obviously, the, are you Guardians? Yeah. What did I say? Uh, Avengers. Avengers. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the Guardians um, whole thing again. Obviously, if you think it looks really good, I trust your word. Obviously, like Elden Ring. Uh, mm-hmm. I was wrong on that. So I'll go back and take a look. But <laughs> usually, like even even like Halo last year, I think if you watch that demo in 4K, I, I was... Oh, impressed about that yeah okay. i yeah huh i will i rewatched that one like three times over and then I, I think the third time was at your house though with ricky but i yeah. watched it again like a second time before well my point is like it's usually just like i think watching these things in 4k on like a hfr screen is is like it, it adds a lot to these things but yeah absolutely it was a tough show but i think it was tough mainly because it had a tough act to follow um going and moving on to our xbox plus bethesda showcase which i think has been one of the best showcases of video games in a very long time um obviously nintendo always does a great job and we had the whole thing last year with the summer of games and all that stuff with the showcases with playstation showing off the playstation 5 and their games and xbox trying to show off the series x and s and all that so um, but this was awesome. Uh, and they started off with a bang. The Starfield trailer. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, we didn't we didn't see a whole lot, obviously. Oh, I, I think that's me. It's, it's a year out. Yeah. It's, it's a year and a half out. Um, but, I mean, it's still, like, it's still nice to get that um, confirmation that they have a release date for it. It's something that's been speculated this whole time. It's, um, it's definitely coming out that day too <laughs> like that that's the 11 year anniversary of skyrim on the day 11 yeah. 11 11 was skyrim 11 11 22 will be starfield i think hell or high water that game's coming out that day <laughs> yeah um, but i mean it looks very good i don't know how much of that stuff was i don't remember if it said it did say in-game footage obviously um, engine in yeah in engine yeah um, creation engine too um so no it says here it was in-game footage oh yeah so um maybe like some of the stuff inside the ship was the in-game footage obviously but um yeah we didn't get to see a a whole lot but we have confirmation of a date and i'm sure looks good oh sorry continue no i'm just sure in the future we will be seeing you know a lot more of it yeah big demo next e3 uh looks good uh loved everything they said like Mm -hmm. i loved everything todd howard said about it um Starfield, man, it's gonna be the biggest game next year, yeah. easily. Uh, it's like that in Elden Ring, and unless Zelda, who knows when Zelda's coming up? But like, legitimately, God like War. God of War. But even even still, like, uh, just in terms of talking still. about and hype, I, I just the legacy behind BGS and the fact that they haven't made a new game in a uh, quarter century 
like a, like a new like IP in a quarter century. It's like a big deal. And I think Xbox is going to market the hell out of that. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to be their new, their, their biggest new IP in a long time. And they're going to make sure everybody knows about it. Starting so off yeah. that exclusive tag real early on with the biggest game possible. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, wonderful showing uh, very excited for next year, but also glad that for a game that's a year out, we didn't see a lot of it. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. That was great. Moving on. Uh, we, we are going to go in order this time. We had stalker two. Adam, I'm not sure. Have you played the original stalker game? A little bit, but this game looked juicy. Yeah. This I, game looked, this game looked like if Metro was way cooler than it already is. Like I, literally. I thought the same thing. I was like, I played, I played a little bit of the first stalker game. Uh, not a whole lot. And then I played a lot of Metro. I, pre- uh, I played all the way through Exodus and everything. I was like, man, this just seems like a really, really cool uh, a version of Metro. And so I might have to go and play that original Stalker game. But this looked cool. I liked it a lot. I got a quick little news update. Uh, apparently, the app data for the Strangers of Paradise demo is corrupted. And everybody who's downloading it has to delete it for some reason. So... This game's off to a rollicking good start. Uh, Rough. Who knows what's happening there? But uh, I'll we'll 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 probably do another one tomorrow. One another yeah. one of these or Tuesday or something. So I'll keep you guys posted on what this Final Fantasy Origins thing is like. All right. Sorry. Continue. No worries. No worries. Uh, and moving on from that, uh, Adam had a prediction that came true. Uh, he texted me before the showcase started. Back for Blood, day one on Xbox Game Pass, October twelfth. So, you know, obviously another big get for Xbox and the Game Pass crew there. And in, an insanely big get. Like, uh, I'm now playing it on Xbox. Like, that's for sure. Like, I'm, I'm keeping Game Pass. Like, you know, it's it's just they keep managing to be like, yeah, we we have the next biggest thing. Here you go. It's like, it's, it's, it's insane. Um, and especially that game. Like, I, I thought it was going to be really big. So it's just like, they they keep throwing money in the right places i guess <laughs> yeah it, it, game pass obviously like we will continue to talk about it's just the thing that keep the gift that keeps on giving truly um and so a lot of great stuff there um we got a look at an avalanche studios game contraband uh not too much there we know that it's a co-op game open world um this was uh the project typhoon rumor so there were there's a couple rumors going around there's project typhoon project dragon project omen we saw that but we'll talk about that later and uh one other thing that i don't remember so this was typhoon which is really interesting uh avalanche is developing an exclusive for xbox looks cool yeah so we'll probably figure out more of that next year probably so yeah i I don't i I think that game's early like i don't think it's coming out until 2023 or 2024 yeah so So, uh on from that we had sea of thieves bringing in um pirates of the caribbean (laughs) this was insane um this looks like a like a actual story yeah uh, it looked yeah like a full-fledged like narrative and so i've i haven't played i mean like i played sea of thieves like when it first came out and like on and off uh, never like sticking to it. I know Adam's brother Amir wants us to get back into Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I've I've played quite a bit of Sea of Thieves, but um, I don't know if they've been doing anything like this. They do expansions, but this looks like a straight up like story expansion yeah. in a way that the other game, the other expansions are not. The other expansions like are are hefty, but this looks like it's like cutscenes and like a campaign in a way that the game hasn't really had. Um, right. So exciting and game pass so <laughs> yeah yeah and it's on game pass like that's everything here is on game pass except for let's just Free do games. This. everything on here is on game pass except for battlefield far cry and don't even remember the third one don't yeah i don't know so, i'm sure we'll get to it but yeah um speaking of game pass yakuza like a dragon today another another big game um obviously they had um, all the other Yakuza games on Game Pass yeah. already, so it's probably just a matter of time. But confirmation of Yakuza Like a Dragon coming so, out. So yeah, the entire all of Yakuza is now on Game Pass, and I think Persona is soon to follow. Same company. Um, God, I hope so. I, I just don't think now is the time to announce it. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, if they do do it, it'll be it'll be a blowout, but uh, I think it'll be later. So we'll see. 
hey, I'm I'm here for that. So, yeah. but hey, if you have Game Pass and you're not playing Yakuza, what are you doing? You know, true, true. Um, next, we have one of my highlights of the whole. You know, we we got to see it early on. We didn't get to see gameplay footage, but we got to see Battlefield 2042 early on this week, and then we got amazing fucking gameplay. Yeah, um, three minute uh, gameplay trailer or something like that. I have it pulled up. It looked yeah, so exactly. It looks really great. Good. Yeah. It looks so good. And like the the whole fact that they've pushed it to be this thing that you know you want to play it on the Series X and PlayStation Fives to have like these super blown up um, games where you have sixty four versus sixty four. Like it's going to be insane. And like we said, October is going to be like a stacked month. Yeah. But this being like a multiplayer juggernaut, I was in love with like start to finish of this game. This yeah, game it's... trailer. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted, like, like exactly what I wanted from this. And I'm, and I'm so excited because like, yeah, Battlefield three is one of my favorite games of all time. And this looks like that, but bigger, better in every way. So I'm just amped. Uh, there's literally nothing anyone can say to stop me from buying the ultimate edition at this point. You, I'm going to give them the, my entire wallet. Um, so yeah, like I, the only thing is I just got to know about crossplay. That's, that's literally all I need to know about crossplay. I need to know what 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 platform I gotta get it on, like stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, we'll see. But I'm I'm just so juiced, so jazzed. I was I was freaking out watching this, and uh, same here. It was sick. Like I was getting jitters. Yeah, it was sick. It was a great like in the kind of like middle early on point of the showcase, which I really liked. Yeah. Um, moving on from that, we have 12 minutes. Um, another solid, uh, beautiful looking game. Um, one of the games I drafted this year. Obviously. Guarantee that's a game of the year contender by the end of the year. I'll call it right now. I'm saying nothing else. No, but like literally that game will be a game hey, of the year contender. I believe it. I believe it. Makes me happy to hear that you think that as someone who drafted that in our in our thing. When we get into something that you drafted or not drafted, but uh, picked up, picked up later in our on. Fantasy league. Yeah. So, but after that, we had Psychonauts two launching August 25th. Uh, what did you think of that? Looks great. Yeah. I want Psychonauts. I wish it was launching today. There was all these rumors. Oh, you could preload it, blah, blah, blah. But August 25th, whatever. We'll play it then. Game Pass. Cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you don't haven't played Psychonauts 1, it's on Game Pass. Go play it. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, moving on from that, we had new Bethesda games coming to Game Pass. Um, Dishonored, Doom, Rage, Fallout, Wolf of Sign 2, a lot of the Fallout games, um, and more. And then we got to see, speaking of Fallout, a lot more of Fallout 76, which is a game that I know Adam loves dearly and will love to talk about. Yeah, Fallout 76 is cool. No, uh, campaign's <laughs> funny, or the, the, the community's funny. No, uh, like I legitimately, like I get a lot of joy out of the fact that that game exists because yeah. every, however so many months, Polygon writes an article about how like there's a man who built a maze uh that traps people and then he kills them and eats them and it's like oh my god hell yeah like that's and there's like nine nice. shows on polygon yeah they're just like a really fun read i'll never play it i tried again. to play it. uh yeah i'll never play it again i tried to play it when they did that free trial and i just couldn't do it but uh if i had like six people playing with me maybe but i'm, I'm not I'm, I'm out i'm out but yeah, yeah it's funny that game's funny oh it's funny here. They also have uh, a, another DLC expansion for it called The Pit, which was obviously a popular Fallout 3 expansion, uh, taking you inside Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, so they're bringing that back. Then after that, we had what I thought was Fall Guys for, or not Fall Guys. Um, oh, God, what is that game called? Well, it's Gang called Beast. Party. Gang Beast. Yes, thank you. What it I thought was Gang, Beast, like Gang Beast. But it's called Party Animals um coming in 2022 and it looks exactly like gang it's, beast. it's no it better way to explain beast. it yeah like yeah. it's like it's gang beast with animals and it looks fun so and it's yeah. got guns so yeah. yeah and then we have another huge uh port to game pass xbox hades uh a game that everyone considered to be potential game of the year last year um, oh, well, I know Adam, a lot of people consider it to just be game of the year you know yeah i know adam so. advocated for me to get it on the switch but um, obviously be, me being a stubborn little you know person uh it's now coming to xbox game pass um august, august 13th 20th. okay i thought it was 27 i don't know why but yes 
Continue. I, Sorry. I, you know, however likely I was to play that game on the Switch and buy it on the Switch, I am now 10 to 100 times more likely to just get it on and play it on Game Pass. Yeah. The gift exactly. that I mean, it's free. keeps on giving. Yeah. Again, <laughs> gift that keeps on giving. It's, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, obviously, um, I don't know. It's just something that I always think is pretty crazy. We'll see, like you said, with Persona potentially coming in, Yakuza, you know, a lot of games that are high quality getting on Game Pass. You don't have to spend the $60 to yeah. go out and get it somewhere else. So, very nice. Um, next, we had Somerville. Um, this is the most played at looking played not played at game. Uh, so it looks cool and I'll play it. But I really thought for a while there that it was just play dead. And I was like, damn, they're turning out a game, especially when like all their job listings were like for a third person game. So it was like really weird. But yeah, it's not played at everybody, but it does look cool. Yeah. And then we have our big midpoint, which I think we'll spend quite a few moments talking about Halo Infinite. We got to see another cinematic trailer, of course, for this campaign. But then we got to see an amazing uh, gameplay trailer of multiplayer. We, we also saw a snippet of just gameplay from the campaign, like of that pan up that is like running in the campaign and stuff. And it looked quite good. Um, but yeah, it was mostly just cinematics. Yeah, um, mostly cinematics and then just like a pan of the world in campaign. Yeah, well, that's yeah. And and like it showed a lot and like people walking around. So and like you could yeah. tell the visuals from that. Um, what do you think? You start. Um, I wasn't too happy with the campaign stuff, obviously. Um, I've seen plenty of the cinematic trailers. They look fucking phenomenal. I get it. They look fucking great and everything. Um, I would have liked to see actual gameplay within like, you know, fighting brutes again, because obviously that's where fighting the enemies and the environment was kind of the problem that most people had with the trailer they showed last year, the seven minute trailer. Um, that being said, you know, I don't know where the story is going um, or what they're doing for it, which is nice. Cause it's a mystery. Um, Chief looks fucking cool. Uh, his armor looks sick. Outside of the campaign stuff, I was really in love with the multiplayer stuff. And I've been telling you that, I've been really excited for multiplayer and, you know, the armor looks really cool. It looks like you can get really different armor types and all that. And, you know, listening to the people on IGN, they think it's, it looks like a mix between um, Halo 5's combat and like a, almost like a weird, they were trying to like make like a, a statement saying like it was kind of like combat evolved. No, it's Halo, it's Halo 5 and Halo 3, but. You yeah know, go off them no uh could you do it <laughs> no that's it that's it for me i mean it it was good um they really didn't spend as much time on it as i thought they uh would have should have could have but you know it is what it is they didn't give a definitive date for when it's coming out they said uh holiday 2021 in the fall so we'll see if maybe it's stick to out that. this year uh but Please Sorry, take continue. the stage. No, please, oh. you take the stage, sir. This is your game. It looks pretty fucking good. No, uh, <laughs> like legitimately, uh, it lo it's it looks much better than it did last year visually. Uh, even like you said, it's just a pan, but like you see the enemies, you see the people, you see all the environment. It looked great. Um, the cinematics looked insane. Like so, Halo. Like him, just like that one shot of him, like going through the wreckage. Beautiful, gorgeous. That's the start of the game. I know it um like the very start of the game like right after the thing that we already saw at the beginning so uh and yeah maybe it doesn't come out this year i'm i'm a little nervous because uh forza horizon 5 which they revealed um and i know i'm, I'm spoiling they gave a date for november 9th and they did not give a date for a holiday 2021 halo um but i will also say that halo is the kind of game that can command attention for its own event Mm -hmm. um and if they did want to do like a little like come on this day for 15 minutes while we really just take apart you know what's going on in this game it can do that very easily um sort of like what uh sony does with like what did with ratchet and did with uh horizon but yeah i am the multiplayer is looks perfect it looks like halo 5 and halo 3 had a baby with the with the armor power-ups and the, or the deployables 
and the vehicles and the grappling hook. And just, I'm very, 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 very excited. And I know I'm going to play that game for like a thousand, 2000 hours easily over its lifespan. And uh, yeah, like that's all I needed. The multiplayer looks good. I don't care about anything else. Sorry. Maybe I'm not getting battlefield because if halo comes out anytime, I don't care about battlefield anymore. No, I'm kidding. I do much, very much care, but uh, yeah, like just amped uh, truly about halo and uh, very excited. I'm glad the multiplayer looks as good as it does. Um, so obviously date wise it being uh, still up in the air i just wonder you know we haven't gotten confirmation about when um horizon zero or horizon forbidden west is coming out uh yeah. that's also going to be fall um maybe <laughs> yeah who knows are they are but my question was going to be are they both biding time to see what nintendo does on tuesday if they you know xbox doesn't care again xbox doesn't care because Halo is Halo. Like mm. you could talk, oh, Horizon's so big. Halo's Halo. Like people will play Halo even if Breath of the if they came out on the same day, people are gonna play both. Also, again, the goalposts moved for Microsoft. It's about Game Pass. It's not about getting yeah. three million units out in three days. Um, I honestly just think they're deciding whether to put it in like November or December. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they want to commit to I think ideally what they want is to put it whenever the 20th anniversary of Halo and the original Xbox are. So November mm. 20th or 14th or something like that. Mm. Um, but I just think they're like, if we need a couple more weeks, we're going to take them. So um, I honestly don't know if Horizon is going to – see, the, the thing about – at least they said holiday 2021, which mm. like is like, okay – it's probably Christmas. coming out but there's like a 40 45 percent chance it doesn't just mm-hmm. because of the way like things are shaping out but horizon didn't even have a year on it <laughs> you know right. like it was it literally just said playstation 4 and 5 not to bring horizon into this so yeah i i would i would say that like horizon definitely is biding time to see what nintendo does because those games are very similar they're both mm-hmm. open world games uh you know that kind of like a uh, breath of wild 2 and uh horizon zero or horizon forbidden west like those games are similar and they don't want to get killed again like they did last time yeah but uh, yeah halo i mean is a different beast um you know and, and i just think that's the way that it that the cookie crumbles uh Absolutely. but yeah we'll see hopefully it um comes out this year because i would really like to play it true 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 moving on from that we have the diablo 2 remake um available 92321 do you want to it looks like diablo 2 is being remade I, I don't know what else to say you know like yeah. <laughs> it's, obviously it's we don't coming need to, to expand consoles, on all of them so 60 fps you know that's that's all it is yep uh then we had a plague tale requiem announced for 2022 coming to game pass as well that's a launch exclusive i believe as well so like like x it's going on xbox uh, not play. It, basically, it's not coming to PlayStation. Is the point? Uh, right. Because it, it's going to PC, but it's not coming to PlayStation. Right. Then we actually got another thing very similar to um, Battlefield 2042. Uh, we got to see Far Cry 6 gameplay. A lot more Far Cry 6 gameplay. Correct. Yes, we did, and I'm sick of seeing it too. <laughs> <laughs> like, like there's been like five trailers for that game in the past two weeks, and my head's just like, well, I don't ever. I, a little I, bit I don't more ever. Gameplay and such. Yeah, so. it it did. Yeah, it did. It's just yeah. Saw it yesterday or saw it two days ago, or no, it was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yesterday. I saw it yesterday. Saw it. I think it was also at Summer Games Fest. Maybe, Maybe for not. A moment. I, I it was, and then they had that gameplay trailer like a week and a half ago. It's just I don't even want to see this game anymore. I'm not gonna play it. Legitimately, <laughs> I'm not playing it because I'm it's I'm inundated with this crap. But yeah. That was honestly, I was like, personally, I was like, why is this here? Like, you should have shown this at your own thing because it shouldn't yeah. be here. But Ubisoft is like, Ubisoft knows that more people are going to watch this than, the, than they were going to watch their show. So, um, yeah. Sense, but yeah. Uh, then we had Slime Rancher 2. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, Shredders, which is coming out 2021, which is an actual snow snowboarding game compared to what we saw yesterday with uh yeah this is like more simmy yeah so that was that and then we got to look at atomic heart um is there anything you want to talk about with this one because i saw people were actually like kind of you know cool yeah 
looked cool. Xbox and these rushing games keep doing it. <laughs> like seriously, like I love I love the like I mean, I guess you could call it Russia core, like, like Russia core video games. Like I love the aesthetic and the, and the, uh, philosophy of, of them. And, um, yeah, I, I'm just, I, this one looks really cool. Like just visually looks so, so striking. So yeah, I'm, I'm all in on, on this one and, uh, yeah, I want to see more. I don't think they didn't even give a date. So I don't think it's coming out next year because everything that's coming out next year, they gave a date to, so I don't, I, I think, I think that's a, tw- like, if it is coming out next year, it's really late. And if it isn't, um, it's coming out 2023, but I'm, I'm very excited to see more of that. Yeah. Then we had another game that people were gushing over, which was replaced, which is coming 2022. Um, game of the show, baby. Looked very good. No, legitimately, probably uh, the most gorgeous game at the show so far, just visually like, and I think this is a game that we saw maybe a while ago that then we did not hear about, but I can't remember, but this thing looks so good. I'm so, so excited. And uh, yeah, that I, I'm just, I'm just amped. Uh, it, it, it looks gorgeous. Um, that I was freaking out watching this one. Yeah, it, it did look very pretty. So um, after that, they followed that up with the grounded update shroom and doom. Yeah, scary spiders. The game's fun. Uh, I'll I'll jump back in when it's 1.0 again. I, I I'm not I'm like I liked it, but I'm not like so invested that I have to jump in every update. You know what I mean? Like I think that'll be fun when everybody decides to like get into it. Yeah. But right now it's like yeah. Yeah. Talking about games that you have to get people to get into to be fun. Among Us coming to xbox game pass with now 15 party or for 15 people party lobbies yeah um cool glad that it's coming to game pass it's or among us sussy among among us sussy baka like okay i'm i'm i'm, I'm kind of over among us but uh, it's cool <laughs> yeah moving on we had i don't really know how to say this one uh Ludian chronicles um, again, people were kind of going, game. yeah, people were kind of going crazy about it coming to Xbox or something like that. So I have, oh, 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 the Suikoden, the Suikoden knockoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like Suikoden. Okay. Yeah. It's Suikoden. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean, that doesn't mean too, too much to me. So yeah, uh, I mean, well, if, if, if it's Suikoden doesn't mean much to you, then you, it's probably not for you, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. so and there are two of them. So like. Yeah, it's yeah, 2022 and 2023. Yeah, we'll see. So, Looks yeah. cool. Then we had Age of Empires, uh, another game that okay, it's cool. It's uh, they started a whole studio for this. It looks, yeah, it looks, it, I mean, it looks good. So, I mean, if, if again, some games just aren't for everyone, right? And absolutely, Age of Empires 4, not for me, <laughs> right? And then we had an amazing uh trailer for The Outer Worlds 2. Um, <laughs> You know, they were fucking around in it, which is, you know, the whole thing about Outer Worlds, which I love. So, yeah, um, I think my my theory stands. Yeah, that it's they show something they show just like that. It's it's a thing. Yeah. And then we get a gameplay trailer, hopefully in next two year years or two years from now. So we'll get a vow next year and then we'll get Outer Worlds 2 in 2023, if that yeah. makes sense. God, and talking about all these years, man. Someone already like or I guess they like already tweeted out. I think that um, it's a different war or it's a different universe, different crew, but it's like, Oh, like galaxy, like galaxy. Yeah. But it's like still the, it's still the same outer worlds or something like that. So probably they just mean like same company. It's the same world, but it's a like different set of planets, I guess. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that was there. And I was very jacked to see that. So uh, funny trailer. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't really do anything like, like, uh, again, it was, it was just, yeah it's the outer worlds it and needs, it's the second one it needs lens flares yeah <laughs> i lens love it flares. yeah um then we had microsoft simulator uh flight simulator coming to xbox on july 27th with a top gun expansion yeah getting in big with these movies i think microsoft needs to snatch up a sobo who also makes uh plague tale because damn they make good games and you know just snatch them up just buy them straight up they're they're a really super talented team and uh 
again, I was saying it on stream when I was reacting, but like flight simulator is a, an achievement, like truly yeah. like a technical achievement. So I, I'd be really, I, if, if they're looking to add studios, I would want to see a Sova just have as much money as possible to make whatever they wanted. Like that's what I care about when Microsoft buys a studio is that they're basically have the financial security to go as crazy as they want. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Very fair. Then we move on to what probably made Adam very, very happy. Uh, Forza Horizon 5. This game looks fucking so realistic and so yeah, fucking pretty. It's, it's, it should be illegal, I think. It's scary. Um, yeah. You crash in that game, you might crash in real life. That shit was <sighs> nuts. Yeah, the lighting. And it's coming out November Geometry. 9th. Oh, my God. And my the my favorite thing is they said like we have a dedicated mode where it's like you will just explore mexico on these sort of like little missions which is like perfect because all i'd like to do in those games is drive around like racing's fine and fun but like i just like driving around in these like beautiful cars uh and like mexico like you get to go to ruins and stuff. it's it i'm very excited um for that specifically uh and yeah man just looks knocked it out phenomenal. of the park it looks gorgeous yeah uh, this was the thing they spent the most time on and i don't blame them um because you know we didn't know it was coming but yeah it just looks gorgeous very excited november 9th game pass i'll be there day one yeah. Uh, yeah those games are so fun so yeah and then we move on to what was the finale of the xbox bethesda show which was the arcane austin project redfall launching summer 2022 open world co-op baby yeah, something hopefully me and Adam will jump into. He's already picked out that he's going to play as the character with robot. the robot dog. So I got to have the robot dog, and I'm there day one. God, I love Xbox Arcane. I love Arcane. I love Arcane. I, I don't care if it's game. I'll buy it. Like, <laughs> I spent $100. It's Arcane. Like, seriously, like, they're so good at what they do. And, uh, man, just looks – it looks so fun. And I get that they didn't show gameplay. And it's coming in summer, so it's like, I feel like they should, but there's plenty of time until then. I got the vibe. The characters, I already like all the characters. Um, man, just looks fun. Love the art style. And I trust Arcane with my life, so. Yeah, it looks very cool. Uh, very, um, you know, different different types of play styles with the characters. So obviously that's a good thing to have. And if you're going to make it a co-op game that you're going to push for like me and Adam to potentially hop in and enjoy, yeah. you know, hopefully one of us gets a different feel from it and the other one, you know, enjoys it just as much. So yeah. I, I'm fascinated to see how the open world works. Like it's yeah. an, it's an immersive sim shooter. So I'm, I'm just really interested to see how off the rails you could go. If that makes sense, like how systemic a lot of, some like experiences are and like yeah. what 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 the world is like so yeah again we'll find out more uh this is similar to like what we saw of death loop the first time so i'm okay with it because i was sold the second i saw death loop i'm sold the second i see redfall um yeah again and the biggest surprise summer 2022 like yeah coming out soon uh well, a year from now. it's coming out in a year yeah it's coming out in a year which is like hell yeah keep it yeah. out i mean it probably won't because arcane has delayed death loop three times but i'm praying <laughs> yeah yeah and yes that is xbox exclusive they made a big deal about that started the show with an xbox exclusive ended the show with an xbox exclusive so yep and so with that being the end obviously there was uh they did name drop a couple of their games that they had shown at previous showcases about fable elder scrolls six oh, cool. and so no, they, they didn't say six they yeah, said they online Oh, no, dude, they, they, said six. they said Elder Scrolls Online. They said Elder Scrolls Online and Elder Scrolls Six. Oh, I, I just thought I didn't even process the six. Yeah, dude. I definitely heard it because I was like, oh, okay. interesting, interesting, because like they haven't shown anything for that, but they showed every other one of those games that they had listed off. So, well, that game's no, not. No, it's there's no. nothing for that game. You know, like right. like I like people were like saying like, I hope we see Elder Scrolls Six. That that game doesn't exist. Right. They're, they're, the only thing that exists for that game is some art maybe and that lore. and that and the lore and that cg trailer that we saw like yeah I mean, i'm sure there's a small team working on it but like the resources are on starfield yeah. and after that in four years we'll get God, it's a long yeah. time but we bide our we bide our time you we know bide our there time. are gonna be a lot of video games between now and then so 
Absolutely. And I think that was, you know, um, just to make a quick point on the presentation of it all, obviously they took their time to talk about Starfield and they took their time to talk about Halo and they took their time to talk about Forza. And I think that's exactly how, you know, if they're going to do these showcases that, you know, you have, you have a few points to make about your, you know, your biggest games. And yeah. so um, I thought they did a really good job of it and it wasn't, you know, over the top and it wasn't too much. So I thought it was perfect. Yeah, I, I legitimately, it, it was Xbox's best presentation ever. Yeah. And I'm very excited to see what they do next year because, man, their lineup, they have a stacked 2022 and they have an even more stacked 2023. Like, yeah. legitimately, like, Avowed, Perfect Dark, Fable, like, like 2023 for them is insane. Yeah. Um, so we will see, but absolutely what a what a wonderful event just hype through 90 minutes like just a 90 minute hype train perfectly paced um you know what i'm not gonna lie i i i think it's like sacri- i guess it's like taboo to bring it up right now but like legitimately that presentation i i feel like should make sony be like upset that they're not here um because yeah. like everybody's talking about it everybody's excited and i think if we had sony tomorrow it would just be so much ex- it would it, a rising tide yeah. you know raises all ships and i think them not being here it only hurts them and uh it, 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 i mean it hurts us like i i would really love to see some sony stuff and right. i and i was uh, like after i was just like this bittersweet like wow that was amazing imagine if all three of the companies were here and like mm-hmm. on tuesday how like just excited i would be about the like, next year or two of video games so right. yeah uh, hopefully Sony is soonish. Like, but because I honestly, I'll say this by the way, I think the reason the Square thing was meh was because Sony has all their big games. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, great, 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 great. Yeah. Uh, presentation. Great day. Great day in general. Um. With all that being said, uh, we're gonna leave you guys with that. Um. Tell us what you guys thought of the presentations, both Square and Xbox and Bethesda. Which, what reveal was your favorite? Obviously, Guardians of the Galaxy is a huge thing to be brought up. Starfield, um, getting to see more of Halo multiplayer and lots, lots more. So um, with all that being said, please leave a like, please leave a subscribe, leave a comment down in the comments below, and we will see you guys probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Peace.